Mother trucking mom. What's going on with you? So, today's topic, should men give women an allowance and why? Should they give, what is the context of this? This well, is a stay-at-home wife or something. Well, no, nah, actually I came across this uh, topic on a, on a YouTube video and I thought it would be something to talk about we'll talk about with my trucker fans right quick just to for me to pass the time <laughs> so should men give their wife or significant other an uh, allowance no 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 don't or just no, wife. no 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 don't don't change it should men what? give mm -hmm. women an allowance Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes, that would be nice. That would be nice. <laughs> yes, they should. Okay, why? Um, if this person or if you're the person you're with or whoever, woman you're with is taking care of the household, doing things for you while you're out on the road. Is this is that what it pertains to somebody as a trucker or anybody? Uh, it it could be pertaining as a trucker, but let me ask you this though: what? So I'm over the road, I'm doing the damn thing, I'm out and about. So I should give my woman an allowance? Well, I just said no for the bullshit of it, but. I really don't. I mean, I say yes to the bullshit of it, but I think I really don't think so. But if this woman is at home doing things, and you know, you you're out on the road, you have stuff that needs to be taken care of at home, and you don't have to worry about stuff like that, and she's doing those things, yes, give her some money. Huh? Interesting. <laughs> so, so you you would think that the the woman the 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 stay at home mother mom. Are you you now what if so this is this must be pertaining to maybe a trucker that's that's bringing home I don't know you know that's that's bringing home a specific a significant amount of money you know every week every month uh -huh. every year so I mean would I mean so if this the case this is, I would say no. Because it just really depends on the situation. Such a broad topic. It just depends on the situation. Mm. But so you, so you being a truck. Let's let's flip the script. Let's let's flip it for you. You because you you over the road. You have a significant other at home doing a damn thing. Do you think? Do you think you should give him an allowance? I would if he at home taking care of my son and I don't have to worry about things at home. Yeah. So, so you I would give him some money. You you wouldn't inspect him to I don't know. He do have I mean he is working, isn't he? Uh that's yeah, well maybe not. You know, he probably might not be working. So would you suggest him to be working? I mean he can. We we do it all. Women do it all. Why can't the men do it all? Work, take care of the house, and uh, take care of your spouse. Hmm. Interesting. We do it all. Interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Thank you. Nifa, should men give, wim give women an allowance? Um, should men... Like, should that be an obligation or out of the heart? What's the question? Should they, I don't mean, it's, I can't speak for all men. I don't know. You have to ask a man that. <laughs> I'm not a man. I can see if you ask me, should women give men allowances? Okay, so rever so I reverse. That. I don't have an answer. So, so, re so reverse it. It's, it's only an opinion. I mean, you know, if, should, should men give women an allowance or, should women give men an allowance? It could be a broad 
it, it, it could be a broad statement and you can use it as, you know, as we're truckers or as. Uh, yeah, like as in law, I'm going to say no. If you do something for somebody, it has to be out of the good kind of goodness of your heart mm-hmm. or the provider that the man is. Like if I give from my heart. I shouldn't have to be, that should not do or die shit. So uh, the answer is no. My opinion. All right, so if you so let's say like you know like you have a a, a a significant other and you're a truck driver which you are, and you'll you know you away you know maybe about a you know maybe about a month or something like that, uh, the man at home you know taking care of the kid or whatever the case. Now, first question: Do you inspect him? Ooh, too much noise in the background. But do you inspect him? Too much feedback in the background. You feedback. You must have had your window down or something. I mean, I'm driving. I I know you are. I hear that part. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So two parts. So do the, you know while you out there doing the damn thing? You know you truck driving, driving across the world and all like that. Do you inspect your? Do you inspect your man to have a job? If I'm driving over the road and I have a significant Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not dating anyone without a job. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you you would expect them to have a job. But on the flip side of that, if he don't have a job, but he's at home taking care of the kids, the the house and all like that, then will you give him an allowance? I can't answer that question because I'm not looking for a housewife or a house husband. So I don't, I don't see myself in that situation right now. So I don't have an answer for that. But right. if I have to answer it, and that was what I was dealing with, I guess I would have to give him an allowance. I don't know. This is weird. Go ahead. Yeah, I got the. Uh, I was watching eight at the table. Uh, last night and uh, it almost seems like this these questions come from somebody who's a man but they want like they're probably wanting to be a little feminine because i don't know why is everyone trying to change tradition it's tradition for a man to be the provider right so 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 that's that's what i'm saying so you know if I get a husband and I'm still driving trucks, whoever I marry is still going to work. Like, <laughs> I don't know. And hopefully when I get a husband, I won't have to work. And he, all I have to do is make fucking babies. Like, I don't know. I don't want a housewife. I don't want a house husband. I don't want to marry a bitch. I want to marry a man. Like, I don't know. So I want a man who wants to be a man. You do expect the man to have... To you know, to have a, a to to have a job, right? Right. Yeah. Work, and if a woman wants to work, she should work. She wants to be a housewife, mm-hmm. and her husband is a provider, mm-hmm. and her husband is a provider. Like, then he would provide her an allowance, regardless. But should like an obligation. I don't know. If they're married, mm-hmm. yeah, he should. But if he doesn't want to, I don't, I don't he, know. He should You'll be have obligated to. have to come up with to. something else. Just, right. Yeah, I mean, in a marriage, you should be obligated to a relationship. Like, we're just fucking around. We're going steady, boyfriend, girlfriend type shit. Playing house. We don't have to do shit. <laughs> like, I don't know. Vice versa, women, too, so. That's, what's That's like. my opinion, but I don't want a man who wants, who feels like I should give him an allowance just because I drive a truck. No, get the fuck on. That's what's up. <laughs> what are you here for? Are you here? Are you unconditionally loving me, or are you loving the fact that I might make more money than you? Trucking nails. Should men give women an allowance? Yeah. It. Oh. Mm. Okay. 
Why? Um, well, it depends on, first of all, if it's that your man spending, you know, I think every woman should have a spending budget. So I think the allowance, you know, gives you opportunity to know how much that person spends. That makes sense? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess so. I guess so. So what you're saying is like, uh, do, well, let me ask you this. Do you inspect, do, do you spend? Do you inspect the woman? Now this could be on the flip side too. So since you say mm-hmm. so since you say yeah to the man, do you inspect the woman? Mm-hmm. Do you ins- do do should a woman give a man an allowance? Um Okay, how I say this. Whoever is the breadwinner should. Mm. So you don't inspect do you you don't inspect your significant other to be working, right? What are you talking about? Yeah, I expect everybody to be working in my house. Okay, so yeah, so well, yeah, you, I'm working today. He working today. Why well, everybody working? He is working. Everybody working. Yeah, but um, but okay, so, like, now, okay, if, now, if, if, okay. If, if example. Okay. You know how your parents just give you an allowance? Yeah. Because they the breadwinners of the house. You ain't got no money. So, yeah, or you had they, little money. Let's say you still got a little bit until you got your uh, first job or, you know, things like that. Let's say your first job, you're saving for, up for a car. Okay. So then you're saving up for a car. Yeah. So it's like, okay, but so your your money is going toward a thing. So they say, okay, no, nah, you want to go shopping with your mom or your dad or whoever. Say, no, nah, I ain't got no money. So you'll say you got no money. Not that you don't have any money, but your money going toward a purpose. So, well, okay, so you so so the way you saying it now, the way you saying it, is that, you know, it sounds the way you saying it sounds like they're a married couple, and the man could give his wife an allowance, but yeah. but she should still be working though. So if she's working, then why would she need an an allowance from her man, from her husband? So 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 what if her money's going toward a thing? So yeah, you know my thinking. Okay, my my think is a little different. Mm. So you married, let's say she's working at home, whatever she may she may make more or less or whatever. You know how you know, most marriages well, you know, you still a business. If you get married, y'all legally obligated for each other bills in certain states and all that. Mm-hmm. So what if her money is going toward the thing, let's say he makes more, whoever's a breadwinner makes more they the whoever makes more should pay the most money for the bills. Cause they got more coming in. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, so, whoa, 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 hold on, we just took a left turn, wait a minute, wait, 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 no, you're, you're the right turn, you the right turn, no, 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 this, this was a left turn right here, so you say, wait, so, I'm married, I'm married, I'm making, the, uh-huh. I'm, you know, I'm a truck driver, I'm making the most, she's bringing home, mm-hmm. she's bringing home maybe close to, so being that I'm right. making I'm making the most money, I should pay most of the bills. Well, yeah, because you got more leverage. I, okay, so it shouldn't be fifty fifty for the bills. No, it's hundred uh, percent. Wait, 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 wait. This is what I was saying. If you marry, if you marry, let her, if her or the person lives, I'll say her. Don't you? If her money goes, her money may be going toward a thing. What you see thing? what I'm saying? What thing you is have that? a relationship goals. I don't know. Some people have relationship goals. Every marriage does. Right. So, I mean, even if it's frivolous spending. So, you know what I'm saying? So let's say. So it shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, so yeah. It shouldn't be 50 50? Woof that? No. No, that's why I do a roommate. I'm going to be the king of the council and then everybody 50 50. They're not the king. The king is. The king is there is ruler. You can't be ruler somebody paying half. What? Oh, okay, okay. All right, that's that's. Hang on, me, the king. Come out. You you owe somebody, and they doing the same thing you doing. You know nobody. That's a roommate. Well, I, I, I you know I figure if 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 y'all to marry, you know y'all y'all take on y'all take on the obligations equally. That's fifty fifty. You can't. Sometimes you can't do that. Mm mm. So it's just a hundred percent. Some people might be 70-30. Some people might be 80-20. Okay. This is about 100%. Okay, so if the woman, 
is a truck driver making more than a man, uh -huh. then she should take on 100% of the bills because she makes more. I said 100%. Right? I you, said you, I said more the bills. You, 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 yeah, you just said 100%. Should. No, I said the whole relationship is 100. Some of my person might pay 70, some might pay 30, some might, may want to do 50-50. Then let's go over. Then they might do sixty forty. It doesn't matter how you get to a hundred loans at a hundred. Okay, you know, but it's a hundred. But it's it's a hundred. It's a hundred. We talking about the bills, like so. Who? There's no you. In your opinion, there's no fifty fifty in the bills. No, nah, whoever whoever made the most can pay the most. But it's all about loans they're getting paid. Now the issue is a hundred. Well, I'm saying a hundred percent is. They need to be paid. Everybody's got to put their something in on their all in two situation. It's about budgeting. If somebody's like, if she's making more, so she should pay more of the bills. Whoever's the breadwinner, that's serious. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not, how, how, how fair is that for someone you know they don't even make? If they're, you're making six figures, they're making 50000 Let's say they're a social worker. They love their job. They get at what they do. You know, they're making four to five. They, you know, they, like, they're in their career path. They like what they do. You got a different career path. You making six figures. You got, you're not gonna say, "Oh well, you less than me because they got a career path they've been doing, right? Because they make less money, right? That's wrong. That's just eleven person. That, that, but they got their, you know, they they in the in the good field. Let's say, you know, that's what they do. They'll never make six figures. Mm. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's so, up. Yeah. All right. So All right. Think, Tru trucking. What do you think? Because you about to go on stock. Should men give a woman an allowance? What? <laughs> so what the what the should, what what the f what should, what should men give a woman an allowance? Why are you always coming with me with these questions? I mean, because the first thing out my mouth is what the fuck what. An allowance for what? I, I mean, who is this? Are they, they together? They ain't together. They married. They not married. She don't work. He don't what? Well, I mean, let's let's clarify. Let's, let's, let's break it down. Let's let's break okay, it down. Okay, break so, it down because I need so, to break so it down. So I'm I'm an over the road trucker. Uh, you know, my uh. woman my my woman's at home. Should I give Should I give her an allowance? Whew. I mean, last time I checked, you give children an allowance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe that terminology don't work for me. Maybe, um, you know, the allowance is for her to do. I, that, that word don't sit well with me. But what are you giving her an allowance for? Because she don't work? Do she work? Well, it's just a lot of well, scenarios going there you on go. here. There you go. All right. So one scenario, it could be that she at home taking care of the kids and maybe she's not working. You know, maybe maybe she don't work. So do you think the man should be obligated to get not and, you know, the truck driver that's out there doing the damn thing? Should he be obligated to give his significant other who may have who may and i'm saying significant other now because this is 2021 now so we don't know if it's a man or a woman but should he okay. give should he give his significant other an allowance listen <laughs> oh dear people mm -hmm. do what they want to do Right. So if he wants his significant other to have something in her pocket, then that's what he do. Oh, yeah. Now, are we going to sit at the table and you say, and I'm, okay, let's just, whew, I'm going to try to put myself in these shoes. Go okay? ahead. Go ahead I now. am the significant, I'm the significant other. I have, I'm at home. I'm raising the three kids. You're out on the road. You earn the money. Okay. Okay. Oh God! Um, are you you my you you my husband? You my man? You my everything? You gonna leave me at home, bro? So that's a choice and decision. Do you feel like I should have a couple dollars in my pocket? You know I don't work, mm. okay. right? Okay. But that's your choice because you the one earning the money, so you have control. 
See, that's a problem in itself for me whew, to put myself in this type of scenario. Mm -hmm. But for those who see me, if I said, oh, you know what, baby, you out on the road, you working, I'm at home with these three kids, I'm going to figure out how to get my hustle on with these three damn kids so that I can have my own money in my pocket and you not putting money in my pocket, which in turn gives you control. See, I have a mm. problem with that. There you go. You understand? There you go. So... I'm just saying. So that wouldn't. I, I I have a sister who was a stay at home mother who raised three children, made play doh, and all that good crap, right? Mm -hmm. But she has no control over her life. When her husband shows up home from work, she has to jump up and turn the sweeper on like she doing something because he get attitude if she's sitting down. Mm -hmm. See that I can't live that life. So really, you ask the wrong damn woman because mm -hmm. I that's that's the. I, mm -mm. All right. But I'm going to play along with the scenario for right. you, for the sake of you. All right. So now, so what if, what if they're not married and they're, and they're quote, they're, they're quote unquote, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, what, you know, being uh, grown folks. It doesn't I, even matter about that piece of paper. If you two have an understanding, he know that this is his woman and he done took her on with these babies. They're their babies, I'm saying. And he know he the one out working and he knows she's at home taking care of the kids and she don't got no money coming in. You know, that's where we now I mean, what, what? Now I, what if there's now what if there's no babies? This is a young now, let's flip the script. We do it we okay, just this on. is no babies. You know, you're the over the road truck driver. You happen to meet mm -hmm. you happen to meet a young lady, you've been in a relationship with this uh well let's flip the script you uh female you know that, that oh, let's, let's throw that question let's throw that question in reverse should a woman give a man an allowance if no now, i now, don't feel like neither one should give an allowance mm -hmm. either vice versa an allowance you give children an allowance to teach them some responsibility so that they can earn something so they know when they get grown they go out and earn what they want Okay, okay. Now, if, so Okay, go ahead. So if I meet you know Tim and Tim is grown like me and Tim is not knowing how to get what he needs for himself, I'm going to propose the question, well what you need to do? What we, what, what what you want to do? How are we going to do this? You know, but me give you an allowance or what? So you can continue to not get for yourself? That, that, that don't make sense to me. Mm. And vice versa, just like with a woman. Like I know a trucker who's married, he's miserable. He don't want to leave her because she depends on him. And I'm like, okay, you know, but she don't have no kids. And she just don't work because he be giving her damn allowance. Mm. Hello? You know what I mean? So. I just that, ooh, that's a lot right there, buddy. All now, right. and, and I think it's a choice. If you give, you give because you want to give. You get what I'm saying? That whole obligated. Mm -hmm. Everybody is human beings out here and need to be responsible for self. And in that way, what what someone gives you will add to your substance that you already are providing for self. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got bops. Urge Red and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll remake a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.